Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading for February 2024. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-record your own live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, let's get your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please read your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries, for love, for February 2024. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to the universe and closer to the Fine. Can you please show me love energies for Aries prior to February 2024? We have the Emperor card in the upright, which is the card of Aries. Make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, and that's better how something you do not know about them. And if they are interested or seeing somebody else, we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for um, February, right? Duh. <laughs> in my playlist, your 2024 Sun Moon readings, 2023s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. Um, and we end on, what are we ending on? The Six of Cups in the reverse. Good Lord. Um, <laughs> finally, look me up on a Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate in support of my efforts. Refer a friend. It's always greatly appreciated. And this card is for um, as we move out of February into March. So... We start off with the Emperor card in the upright. It looks like energies prior to you are dealing with a person. I feel it's the other um, the other person, not you. Somebody who is very rigid, very inflexible. Um, I think they were kind of like, this is the way things have to be. Um, why am I thinking of, uh, what was that movie with Julia Roberts and that guy? And God, I always want to watch it again. And and I, like she opened up the cabinets and all the labels on the cans were turned like the same way. I mean, I just feel like this person's very uh, militant. Uh, they they have very rigid expectations. They have certain things they want everybody to conform to. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, they run a very tight ship and they're a great provider in that sense because they're very organized. But on the other hand, I'm just getting the feeling as though um, it's it's a little too much and oddly enough that's your card the card of Aries yet I feel that this is the person that is affecting you uh, rather than it being you and in um February what I'm seeing with this nine of pentacles in reverse is this, this person is really kind of telling you how to operate in a practical way so they're really dependent on how you do things in a practical way so if you don't fold your shirts a certain way it's irritating to them if you don't um you know it's almost like they expect you to conduct themselves as they conduct themselves and i just don't think that that's the way that you are um and and again i feel like it's causing some sort of friction in this connection um and it's very uh becoming very problematic. Now, the six of cups in reverse, I'm going to wait until I pull clarifiers on that because I want to, I want to be sure of what I'm speaking of when I, I mean, I'm getting a, a certain feeling, but I want to make sure that the clarifiers kind of guide me the right way with that. So let me see, hold on, can you even see these cards? Okay, there we go. They're a little bit dark. So, um, Let's see what's going on with this Emperor card. Why is this Emperor, why is the Emperor card here in the upright for Aries, for love, for February energies prior to February, love energies prior to February? Who's this person? What's this energy? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This person's a real perfectionist. Like I said, they want things, they're very limited in the way they think and they want things the way that they want them and they want them perfect. They're very stuck in that for some reason. Uh, they're also very, uh, I feel like they're cheap when it comes to money or, you know, they kind of feel that everybody should work their fingers to the bone. Um, you know, if you're not working, then you're lazy. Um, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean. I feel like pretty much this is their attitude. Um, again, very authoritative. Um, and I see you with the Seven of Pentacles in the upright deciding, uh, you were deciding, do I want to keep putting energy into this? I don't know if I want to invest in this. If this is what it's going to be like. Um, you're kind of reviewing what you have put into this and you know what it's done for you. And if you continue to stay in it, is it going to be successful um, in the end? So there is the hesitation and consideration on your part, I feel. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, we have the Chariot card in the upright, which is the card of Cancer. We have the Ten of Cups in the upright. And we also have the Queen of Swords in the upright. So I do feel as though 
with the chariot card and upright, you have your own goals, your own things you want to accomplish, um, very individual. So you're, you're a very individualized person, very unique. Um, you know, you, you march to the beat of your own drum and you know, when you have your you things that you want to do, you want to do them and you don't want any kind of inf interference and you won't kind of compromise. Um, I feel as though with the Ten of Cups in the upright, um, being like that is very happy and very fulfilling to you. And if you have a family, um, you know, it's you, you fold it in really well. Okay. So you being like that, I feel doesn't, um, doesn't cause other people to be without, if that makes sense. And I feel as though, um, like I said, with this person constantly kind of interrupting you with what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Why aren't you doing this way? Et cetera, et cetera. And now, um, with the queen of swords in the upright, I feel as though you're kind of saying to them, listen, are you, are you, are you with me or are you against me? You know? Because I think, and I also feel like you're trying to figure out the truth and say, is this what you're going to be like um, forever? Because, you know, just tell me the truth. I just want to know. Because if you're going to be like this forever, that is going to be obstacles to things that I want to accomplish. Um, you know, we can have an interdependent relationship, but we're not going to have a relationship where one person's dependent on the other person or the other person's telling somebody what to do. And out of all people, you guys do not like being told what to do. So I can totally see this being a problem. Um, why is the Six of Cups here in reverse for Aries as they move out of February into March? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay. Uh, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower card in the reverse, and we also have the Six of uh, Swords in the upright. So with the Six of Cups in reverse, it's kind of like I was sensing. I'm sensing that this person has an attachment to you and they're going to hold on to you. They don't kind of want to let go of you. They're they're really invested on the past that you guys have had and the memories that you've built together and things of that nature. Um, weird thing about them, they also, they feel as though, or they're going to feel as though you're, you're a child that needs to be disciplined or you feel like a child that needs to be like they view you as a child that needs to be disciplined and you don't like that so i think that's going to be problematic i do see the as you move forward the the relationship very unequal they're the ones that have to have all the power they're the ones that um you know, have to be telling everybody what to do. They don't want other people to have the freedom to do what they want to do. Um, you know, a little bit selfish in that regard. So they're, they're kind of taking and, and you keep on giving and this, this is not a good arrangement for you. And I feel like this is where you have your come to Jesus with the tarot card in reverse. Um, because I feel as though it, it's falling apart if it has not fallen apart, um, you know, uh, in March at some point. And I think that when that happens, you're realizing what kind of relationship you need to be in. It has really changed you in terms of how you view people. Um, so I do think you're going to move forward, you know, never wanting to be in a connection with somebody who is kind of behaving like this. Um, so in, in the long run, it was a good thing because if you didn't have this connection, you wouldn't know what you wanted moving forward. And here you are moving forward with the six of swords and the upright. You just kind of pack it up and you hightail it out of there some of you might actually um, literally pack up your stuff and move away from this person, um, might relocate over or by water. Um, but I do feel that there's a separation on the horizon, um, just kind of saying, hey, let, you know, let's just go our separate ways. Um, yes, you will have some regrets. Yes, it'll be a difficult transition, but I think you know that it's going to be better for you in the long run. So yeah, somebody who's overpowering like that isn't definitely, is definitely not going to meld with the way you are. So that's what I have for you all. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorder or a live reading um uh, uh, just click on the link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715 otherwise make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread i'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or interested in somebody else in my playlist your 2024 sun and moon readings 2023s are still in there see if they're running true for you or someone else and then finally look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe donate refer a friend in support of my efforts that is always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Aries, I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.